Aisha Motors press conference. Uh, you can see Sadat Lal addressing the media. Let's cut across. 9,800 plus units. So that's the overall position. Coming to segment wise performance in light and medium duty, which is 5 to 15 tons, we sold 5,400 plus vehicles in quarter one compared to 7,600 last year, which is a 29% drop. Whereas the um, uh, and the industry went down by 31%. So we gained market share marginally to 32%, which is 1.2% over the same quarter last year. In 16 ton and above segment, which is heavy duty, uh, the market has been, uh, continues to be really poor. We sold 1,420 units, which is 33% lower than what we sold in quarter 1, 2013. And the industry declined by 11%, so from 43,000 to around 38,000. And our market share for the quarter was 3.7 this quarter versus 4.9, I believe, last year quarter. So there was a decline in our market share in heavy duty. Buses again, there was a decline in the uh, in the uh, in our sale and in the industry. We dropped from 2,200 units approximately to 1,860, whereas the industry dropped, um, which is a decline of 15%, and the industry dropped by 17%. So again, we had a marginal growth in uh, in in market share there. On the exports front, we've had a phenomenal growth. We had uh, we did. Uh, 1,122 units, which is 150% greater than the same quarter last year, of 500 and f uh, 452 units, and the industry grew by 71%. So we had a great growth, even compared to the industry. In Volvo trucks, there's a bit of uh, uh, good lining uh, shining out there. We had a 17, 18% growth of 167 of these very high-value trucks we sold last quarter. So performance is good there as well. And we've had a great quarter as far as our medium duty engine plant is concerned. So we've uh, we shipped over 2,500 units um, in this calendar year. And for the quarter, we've shipped um, 2,600 long blocks and engines as well. So, uh, and these of course, as you know, are measuring up to the uh, extremely high standard of Volvo Group uh, engine requirements. So, as in the recent past, the, con the market of commercial vehicles continues to be extremely challenging. And under these circumstances, we commercial vehicles, uh, we believe, continues to battle this uh, prolonged uh, slowdown extremely well, both in terms of sale volume performance and growth in market shares, um, and the fact that we are maintaining a decent profitability in the time when market is going down so much. We've launched both a Pro 1000 and Pro 3000 series trucks in, uh, in the market already in quarter one. So that's uh, basically all the way from 5 to 15 tons. The Pro 6000 series uh, trucks will be commercially launched this quarter. And, um, and we're getting excellent customer response from our new series of trucks. So that gives us hope that we can continue to gain market share. Mm, that's on the CV business volumes. On the motorcycle, we've had another stellar quarter, another record quarter. We had um, a best ever uh, motorcycle sales of 64,268 units, which is 85% growth over last year's 30, nearly 35,000. So phenomenal growth in the, um, in the sales units of Royal Enfield. So that's well over 20,000 per month now we're doing. Our plant at um, Oregadam has... Um, which commenced production about a year ago in April of 2013 has now crossed 10,000 units per month so it's continuing to do very well it's continuing to grow and um, and soon it will be overtaking our old plant in terms of production uh, numbers and uh, our Continental GT has, uh, has done extremely well as a new product we've had um, great response from international markets which was the main idea behind this product from both US, from uh, UK, Europe, Japan. We have excellent reviews, we have a lot of orders in from customers, our, um, we're shipping a lot of bikes so it's all moving in the right direction as far as our Continental GD is concerned and that's on the motorcycle numbers. As far as our uh, joint venture with Polaris is concerned, we continue to uh, track really well on that project. It's um, as we've said in the past, we still expect 
commercial production in 2015. We will be more accurate about the dates by the end of this year. But 2015 is uh, we're tracking well for launch in 2015. So moving on to financials, as you said, this has been once again a record quarter for for Aisha Motors Limited in the. Uh, despite the very adverse market conditions, um, in our total income, in a consolidated... Uh all right, that's Aisha Motors. Uh, the numbers have been good. Stock has come off a tad. But for all the Royal Enfield fan, uh, fans out there, this has been...